Hello, God children. Jesus loves you. Sabbath Day Chapel. How to get your prayers answered. Every Saturday, the Sabbath day, we're going to have a church service on here. Okay. I'm going to go over uh, rapture headlines for the week. Earthquake aftershock. A strong tremor felt in Nepal. Dallas has a 3.3 magnitude earthquake. Greek death deal within reach by next week. The Vatican says Pope meant no offense, con Abbas, the angel of peace. Islamic State is in control of the city Parma in Syria. Iran warns Israel of Hezbollah rockets if they're attacked. God's children, let's confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our fellow men in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Let's bow our heads and pray. Father in heaven, awesome God, please guide us through the sermon on prayers. God's children will love the Holy Spirit to help us say the right prayer to get our prayers answered. We will pray in your will, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let me take you to John chapter 15, verse 7. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Let me take you to Mark. Chapter 11, verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you will receive them, and you shall have them. The Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 6, verse 1 through 34. Take heed that you do not your alms before men to be seen of them otherwise you have no reward of your father which is in heaven therefore when the adults thy alms do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the, in the synagogues in the streets that they may have glory of men fairly I say unto you that you have their reward but when the adults alms let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. That thy alms be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, they shall not be as the hypocrites are, they, that they love to pray standing in the synagogues in the corners of the streets. And they may be seen of men, verily I say, Unto you they have their reward. But though, when thou prayest, enter into the closet, and when they hast shut the door, pray the Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seats in secret shall reward thee openly. But when you pray, do not vain re repetitions, as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. But not you, therefore, like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of before you ask him. After this matter, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth that is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and glory forever. Amen. 
For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, that you have their reward. But thou, when you fastest, anoint thy head, and wash thy face. When they appear not unto men to fast, but unto the Father which is in secret, and thy Father which sees in secret shall reward thee openly. Lay up, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thy thieves break through and steal. But lay your treasures in heaven, where neither moth or rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break or steal. For the, for where your treasure is, there will your heart will be also. The light of your body is the eye, and therefore the eye be single, and the whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, and the whole body shall be full of darkness, and therefore the light that is thee in darkness, how great is the, that darkness? No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say to you, take no life, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat and what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on, is not the life more than meat in the body that rament. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Aren't you not much better than they? Which of you are taken thought can add one cubic unto his stature? And why take you thought for ramnet? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow and they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in the glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which is today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, or you of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewith all shall we be clothed? For after all these things to the Gentiles seek, for the Heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. But seek his kingdom, or but seek for first the kingdom of God, and for his righteousness, and all these things that shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow should take thought for all the things itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Okay, let's talk about praying. First of all, you want to fellowship with God. You want to make sure you know God. Get a relationship with God. Get to know Him. Talk to Him. If you got some free time, talk to Him. You know, you have your little secret place. It might be best to go there because you don't want to be distracted. Talking to God and getting to know Him, you'll get to know Him better. That will help your prayers. Please the Lord. Follow His commandments. Be obedient. Don't be disobedient because that will not help your prayers. You be obedient and follow, you know, please them and, you know, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to live holy. And that will definitely help your prayers because the more you're sinning, you're not really sorry and stuff. It kind of hurts your prayers. Confess your sins. That's a big one. Make sure your sins are forgiven. You know, I know you've probably done the sinner's prayer already, but you always want to confess your sins all the time because we're going to slip, you know, and, you know, we're going to get tempted and we're going to slip and we're going to sin and we have to confess our sins. And it wouldn't hurt when you're praying, put that confession in there. Pray for others. Don't pray for yourself. Don't be selfish. Pray for others. You know, it's better to do that than pray for yourself. You don't want to pray that I want a car or I want a job or I want some money or I want this one person. You got to pray for others. Now, you can have someone else pray for you, and they can pray for the things you need. But don't be really selfish about it. You know, it's, remember, it's in God's will. we got to pray what God would want us to have. And the next one is definitely God's will. 
we have to know God and know what His will is. And that's going to be kind of tough if you just come into God at first. You might just start to kind of know God a little bit. It might take you a while. So you might not know what His will is quite yet. I know definitely what God's will is. So when I do pray for others and they ask for things, I know what they really need, what God wants, what their will is. Um, have faith, you know. Make sure you, that you want your prayers to be answered. You have to have faith. You know, be faithful. Don't think, oh, this ain't going to happen. Or, nah, you know, ain't going to work. You know, I've, I've been waiting for two or three, four weeks. It's not happening. You know, have faith it's going to happen. Believe in it. Don't give up on your prayer. Believe in it again. Make sure you don't give up. Make sure you just keep on it. You know, maybe you have to. You might have to pray it differently. Eventually, you'll get to know the Holy Spirit will eventually get you to say the right prayer. You know, it all depends on the other stuff. If you're, if you're knowing God, if your sins are forgiven, or if, you know, if it's not the right will of God, you'll eventually know what the right will of God. You might pray this prayer 50 times, and you might get it right the 49th, 50th time. You know, eventually you will figure out what God's will is. Be close to God. That will help the Holy Spirit give you the right prayer. When you're close to God, Again, that will give you the right prayer because the Holy Spirit will come in and guide you what you know what God's will is and give you that right prayer. Um, let's do a prayer of thanksgiving. God of all blessings, sources of all life. Giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nutrates life, for the love of family and friends, without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty, what the eye can see, for the joy, what the ear may hear, for the unknown, that we cannot be hold, filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families, who nurture our becoming for friends, who love us by choice, for companions at work, who share our burdens and our daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding for children, who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn, who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day, for life, and one more day to love, for opportunity, and one more day to work for justice and peace, for neighbors, and one more person to love and whom be loved, for, their, for your grace and one more experience of your presence, for your promise to be with us, to be our God, and to give us salvation. For these are blessings. We give you thanks, eternal loving God. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Okay. God's children, we need to stay close to God. We must follow his commandments. Be obedient. You must confess your sins. Make sure we're clean. Pray for others. It's not just for ourselves, but let's do it for others. Know God's will. Know what he wants to tell you, which brings the Holy Spirit to tell you what your prayer should be. Have faith. Believe in it. It's going to happen. Don't give up. Keep praying that prayer. And the right Holy Spirit will get it right for you. Jesus is coming back very, very soon. The rapture could happen in any second. You have to be ready. You have to be alert. Watch as your redemption is nigh. Make sure you're saved. Make sure you're saved 100%. And we're going to go ahead and do the sinner's prayer here. In case you might not be saved or if you backslid or maybe you... You would not hurt to say this prayer no matter what. It's, it's good to say this. Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer asking for the forgiveness of my sins. 
I confess with my mouth and believe with my heart that Jesus is your son and that he died on the cross at Calvary that I might be forgiven and have eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. Father, I believe that Jesus rose from the dead and I ask you right now to come into my life and be my personal Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins and will worship you all the days of my life because your word is truth. I confess with my mouth that I am born again and cleansed by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us bow our heads and pray. Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, awesome God, I love you with all my heart, soul, and mind. Please forgive us for our sins and wash away our sins away as white as snow and be clean. I come to prayer to say, let this congregation have their prayers answered when they pray. That they pray for others and if they need a prayer, God, right now, if they need a prayer, I want to make sure their prayer can be answered. They must make sure they know you. They must make sure the sins are forgiven. They must come clean and be obedient. And they follow all these steps. Let the Holy Spirit be strong in them and let them pray the prayers that want to be answered. Because I know you want, you know, you want them to have a great life and they God's children deserve a great life, and I want them to have a blessing on earth. And prayers are a great way to speak to you, God, and a great way to help others. And that's what we should do is help others. And I pray for all you, God's people, that whatever is hurting you, whatever you need, I pray that you will get what you need. If you're hurting inside, I want you to be better. If you need something financially, I want you to be better. If you need someone to help you come in your life, I want you to be, have that someone. God, please take care of God's children. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Jesus, come back very, very soon. Jesus loves you. God bless.